Okay, so greetings everyone. Um, we are continuing with our videos in psychological statistics and we're now on the topic of classification of research objectives. So um, we have another word for this as our analytic goals and this is actually just finding out from the data one or more of the following attributes uh, of characteristics of the group being studied. So we have actually five analytic goals or classification of research objectives. We have the central tendency, variance in the group, difference within or between groups, relationships within groups, and which we call prediction. So these are the five um, analytic goals or classification of research objectives, if you want. And we're going to discuss each of them one by one. First is central tendency. So the central tendency we uh, we basically know as mean, median, and mode. Um, they actually are or give us the general characteristics of the group being studied or the data set that we are we are studying. So an example of this will be to determine the mean level of perception towards sleep disorders of students of USLS during the pandemic. Okay, so since we're taking into consideration the mean level of perception, so this is under the wing of central tendency, and to determine the average number of USLS psychology students who prefer an iPhone over a Samsung cell phone. So all of this to determine or to answer these questions over here, we will be using central tendency. The next, which is the variance in the group, or shall we say the variability in the group, actually is most of the time paired up with the central tendency. This is actually talking about how individual members of the group vary from the average characteristic of the group. So um, in, in, in the point of view of research, when you say variance, it is always paired up with the central tendency. Some examples that show us variance in the group is to determine the age range of employees in a certain guidance office. Okay, that's talking about the variance, and to determine if the total attitude towards depression of kids with broken families are similar to each other. So these are pretty much psychology examples, and we will be using the variance or variability um, analytic goal in order for us to answer these kinds of questions. So basically, one and two, simple tendency and variance of the group, are under descriptive um, and, uh, analysis, we're going to talk more about that later, but it's good to know that they are under descriptive analysis. This next ones are under the inferential analysis. So the first in the list is difference within the group, and secondly, difference between the groups. So actually, they, we can use them um, interchangeably. So we will be answering this, or we are using this, and to check whether or not some groups of the group subgroups of the group or two separate groups being studied are different or similar on certain traits um, that is being investigated. So for instance, um, say you compare the mean difference of senior high school students general anxiety um, level according to strands. So if you want to check that, to compare that, this is the correct um, analysis. Um, to use and to determine if there is a significant difference in the mean scores of psychologists, board examination takers when grouped according to, so we will consider sex and higher education unit graduated from or college graduated from. So these are examples of difference within groups. Um, if we are looking forward to do this analysis, we are actually seeing, you know, to have a foresight of everything. We're using, we're going to use t-test, ANOVA, and the like. Okay. The fourth one, also under inferential analysis, is relationships within the groups. So this is used to determine if there are relationships between um, certain variables covered in the study, uh, if they exist. Um, some examples include to establish if there is a significant relationship between the level of achievement of psychology graduates and their scores in the psychologist board exam. So we want to check um, if your level of achievement in during your graduate school or during your your you know your academics has some relate relate uh, has some relationship with your results in the psychologist board exam and to determine if relationship status and final grades and stat are correlated okay let's see if you're in a relationship uh, does it have a bearing with your 
grades in statistics or nada. Okay, we want to measure that. So if you want, if you're interested in these kinds of questions, further up, you we will be using or we will be using the relationships within groups. Um, one thing also that we want to see is prediction. So we will be here in prediction and this analytic goal we are actually establishing a mathematical or statistical model to predict future outcomes. So this is actually one thing or one application of algebra wherein we're creating an algebraic model and with that model we can input or evaluate some excess and we will have a value of y so that's in the algebraic way but here we will try to correlate for example uh, or we would like to predict um, if uh, if this certain score of you in the board exam have some bearing in your grades in college or vice versa if your grades in college is something like this what is your predicted score in the exam we can create a predictive model with that so this is under prediction uh, basically we're gonna make use of regression analysis um, in this kinds for example what factors influence a graduate's ability to land a job within one year after graduation and what is the estimated sales of a particular restaurant for the next week if the present conditions hold so if the 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 status or the conditions the phenomenon in that certain restaurant will hold what would be the estimated sales so everyone these are our um, analytic goals or classification of research objectives again let's recall we have central tendency we have variance in the group difference within and within, between groups and relationships within the group also we have predictions and here we end with our video in the classification of research objectives. Um, see you in the next video then. Thank you very much.